Hello, my name is Latsi and welcome to Big Day Trick Tip. You may already know our kitesurfing and snow kiting videos, but I think that often it's forgotten that we are mainly a kitesurfing school. So that's why we would like to share our knowledge with you through these new Trick Tip episodes, which I hope you will like a lot. In this episode I will show you two moves. First one for the beginners and it's a basic upwind turn, and a second one for little bit advanced riders and it's riding blind hooked. Basic upwind turn is necessary for all the kite surfers. You should make sure that your kite is well powered, not underpowered, and find a spot with a nice and flat water. Actually something like our spot. You want to approach the turn with appropriate confident speed. Before the turn you have to start turning your board aggressively into the wind until the moment when you completely stop having motion in your original direction. During this turning into the wind you have to steer your kite from the side to the 12 o'clock. Very important is not to oversteer your kite past the 12 o'clock. Try to keep the kite a little bit on your old side. When you start slowing down, you can start thinking about turning your body. Initiate the rotation by turning your head to the new side, then turn your hips and after change your legs from original back leg to your new back leg and point the board slightly downwind. During this movement you can slightly pull on the bar so you don't dip your ass in the water. After rotating your body your board should be pointed a little bit downwind and your kite should be still on the old side, a little bit. Then you can start the movement to the new side by making a big powerful dive into the power zone in the new side with your kite. It's pretty much the same movement like you are doing with the water start. Continue riding downwind and making aids to gain the speed and ride it out like a bow. Common mistakes. You are riding to your old side and you try to turn just with putting the kite on another side. This will not work and end up only by throwing you from the board or slowing down. Another mistake is that you don't cut your board into the wind. You just straight your legs and you're kind of like drifting downwind. Remember you have to carve upwind before you do the turn. Pretty common mistake is that people over rotate the kite to the new side while they're turning their body. So then you lack the power when you want to start moving to the new side. Make sure your kite will stay up and move the kite down only after your body is turned. Before trying blind, you should be confident in riding your normal direction, also riding toe side and you should have a nice pop from the water. Best conditions for trying this trick is flat water and a little bit underpowered kite, but still enough to go upwind. Most important for this trick is placing your front hand to the back side of the bar. Since you need your back arm for rotating and keeping your balance, you will need your front hand for steering a kite, which will be not possible if you keep it in original position. When your hand is in correct position, pop out from the water and start rotating with your head and with your shoulders. Make sure that just before the landing to the blind, you stretch your hand so you don't land with much power. After landing blind, you should change your weight from original back leg to your new back leg, which was previously front leg. So go really into that knee and stretch your other leg and try to bend your body and look down at the water. You can train that weird position on the beach. Make sure you're confident first before trying on the water. Continue riding this position and you can slightly pull on the bar to get more power and continue riding blind. Black ball. Common mistake. First mistake is of course keeping your front hand on the original front position on the bar. If you try to do that, you will end up with looping kite and crashing into the water. Place it on the backside and pop after. Another common mistake is a wrong placement of the body. If your back leg is not, it's stretched or your boat leg is stretched, the blind will not work. Make sure you train the correct position on the beach first, then post it out on the water. Make sure you change the weight from your original to the new back leg already into the air. If you are landing on the water with your weight on your original back leg, you will probably end up crashing. Another mistake is pulling off the bar too much on the air. If you pop from the water, pull the bar and try to land blind, there will be probably too much power, so you end up crashing. Make sure you lean forward with your body. If you straight up your body, the kite will probably pull you over and you will end up crashing. Riding blind is a little bit difficult to master, but it's very fun, so go out there and have fun, guys! And one more quick tip. 
If you want to get a little bit extra style for your kitesurfing, hide your harness under the t-shirt like a boss. So I hope our little trick tip video will kick your ass and it will push your kitesurfing to the next level. If you want you can join us here in Egypt where we have a perfect conditions. So boss it out!